Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here once again at the Nice Mill Dam. And I'm trying for trout. Actually, I'm trying something a little different for trout. Let's check it out. Here's what I'm going to use. Play-Doh. Pink Play-Doh. Contains wheat. Non-toxic. Think I can catch a trout on pink Play-Doh? Let's find out. All right, let's take a look at the water today. Looks like a good amount of water. I don't see too many people fishing yet. It's a little early in the morning for most people, I guess. It's about 40 degrees outside. So I'm curious to see if Play-Doh will work. It's bright colored. It's made out of food product, basically. I tasted a little Play-Doh when I was little kind of grainy and salty. Get this open. Put the wrapper in my pocket. I don't like to throw trash on the ground, unlike a lot of people here. Trash, trash, trash. I'm really exposing myself to the wind out here at this part, but hey, I see a couple of bobbers right there. Let's get some Play-Doh on here and see what happens. I've never tried this before. I don't even know if this will stay on the hook. Looks like a good doughy dough. It's got the right color. Pink. It smells like food. It's got a kind of a sweet and salty smell to it. Let's get it on the hook, see what happens. That seems like it might work. I don't know if it sinks or if it floats. The water's too shallow for me to test it right here, but I'll test it somewhere else if I get a chance. Let's get it out here, see if I can get a fish. Snagged on something right away. I need to, I need to reel this in and see if I still got it. No, let's get a new ball on here. I'm not gonna cast it quite so far. The current is not too strong today. I just got one small split shot on there and it is not getting dragged downstream. All right, I'm gonna move down. I haven't gotten a bite yet. I mean, it looks good to me. Let's keep moving. What's this? There's a bluegill in this little part right here. I'm gonna rescue this bluegill. Take him out of that puddle. All right, gonna rescue him. Let's put him back in this part of the river. Oh yeah. You're gonna live now. He was stuck over there in a little puddle. Must have dried up on him. Well, that's cool. Even if I don't catch any trout this trip, at least I saved a bluegill. Still trying to get that first trout on Play-Doh, pink Play-Doh gonna happen soon I have a feeling all right we're gonna move down that way to the bend this looks a little more promising let's get that first trout on play-doh got a different kind of current over here not as strong so I got to get out into that fast current and hopefully it'll drift my dough down there we go let's try that I can make it through here. That's gonna be a tight fit for me. All right. Not enough current over here to, to move this along. So it's kind of just sitting there on the bottom. I don't know if they're gonna see it. 
feel a little bit of tension because I caught another line. Let's see what we got on this line. It's a little split shot rig just like I'm using. Still got my Play-Doh. I feel tension again, but it don't feel like a fish. It's another line. It was a line. All right. If I was feeling brave, I'd walk across that little dam because I'd love to fish from there out into this little pool. Yeah, there goes my bait. Just getting snagged on everything. Just pulling off. Still desperately trying to get one on Play-Doh. I have a feeling even if I used power bait, I wouldn't be doing very well. Snagged. Had it free, snagged again. Got it free. Uh-huh, slid my split shots down. My split shots were caught on something and I straightened out my hook. All right, I'm going back to the other spot. Snagged. Is that a fish? No, it's a snag. Look at that, it's a line. What did I catch? Caught a lure. So far I freed a bluegill, and now I caught this green rooster tail. Not the most productive trip, but something's happening. Let's bundle this up to be thrown away. Check it out, green rooster tail. Put it in the jar of power bait for now. Got this power bait to try just in case I can't catch anything on the Play-Doh, which it seems I can't. I don't think it's the Play-Doh. I just don't think I'm finding any fish. I don't like this hook. I'm changing this hook out. All right, let's try another dough ball. Play-Doh ball. Yeah, see, I think I'm getting caught on a line out there every cast, and that line is grinding my bait off. I'm going back from this side. Yes, yeah, let's try it over here. Well, I had high hopes for it at first, but not so much anymore. Fish? I got one. Holy shit. I got one. Holy cow. Got one. Play-Doh. Pink Play-Doh, guys. I did it. First fish, pink Play-Doh. Nice. Let's get a good look at him. Finally, it did work. Drifting it in the current right here. Pink Play-Doh, I got him. Let's let him go. See him right there, swimming upstream. Nice. Yes! All right, that about does it. I really thought the pink Play-Doh would work well, but there's a couple things about it that make it not such a great trout bait. For one, it sinks. So when it sinks and it's dragging along the bottom, you're more likely to get snagged on stuff. And two, it's a little soft. I think if I modified it, maybe with some flour and some garlic, it would work a little better. Then I'll consider doing that. I would still say power bait is probably a little better because it floats. So does Play-Doh work? Yeah, it works. I caught one. But does it work well? Not really. 
it sinks, and I don't think that helps. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.